A pro dating to 2004, here is Hector Showether Lombard, a judo Olympian representing Cuba in the Olympic Games back in 2000. And when he made his UFC debut at UFC 149 in 2012 against Tim Boach, he brought with him a 25 fight unbeaten streak. This was a guy who was mentioned with the best middleweights in the world for the better part of a decade. And you better get your hands up tonight. More than 20 wins by knockout for Hector Showether Lombard. This guy is a very accomplished judoka. He'll be very powerful in the clinch, and when he's there, he'll be looking to set up big throws or takedowns. If he can close the distance and get underhooks, we're gonna see some beautiful martial arts technique from him. So here he is, the two-time Combat Sambo world champion, lightweight contender, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Undefeated for the mixed martial arts career, he has been dominant every step of the way. Joe, the Eagle trains out of the famed American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. It's the DC first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter. Holding professional record of 34 wins, 10 losses, one draw, and two no contests. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Hector Mamba. And now, Kirgizian's opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imagomeda. All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners. I am fight. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go Ready? down right Ready? now. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Take the back. And now he covers up as the hammer fists are coming. He's 
now working from side control again. He's in half guard. Under three minutes to go in round one. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. Lombard gets caught by that elbow. Working for the Americana. He's got that arm secured. He's got the elbow to the body, very close here. He's got it. Now he wants to lift that elbow up while pushing that hand down. Just and absolutely incredible. He set up the submission and locked it in for the tap. Excellent job. Yeah, Joe, we know you can appreciate that. High-level jujitsu there executes the submission there. And a nice job, too, in transition to make sure that he was patient enough to set it up effectively. And the end of the fight came shortly thereafter. High-level stuff. And here's the end of the fight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib Habib Well, it's becoming a pretty common.